Hey, Duna Estas, I'm back. This is Anj. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, but if you're not new, hey. All right, so I want to tell you what I'm up to. Like, I didn't record a video last week. But anyway, I just want to share um, with you my um, journey on Duna and Burke and how I got back into buying... I'm going to call it luxury handbags. If it's over a certain amount of money, to me, it's luxury. And then I'll tell you about, I'm going to show you one bag I have, and then I'm going to tell you about um, some bags that I'm expecting to come. And then I'm on this, ooh, every bag I see, I'm on for my birthday, which is going to be February 14. I turn 47. Go Team Aquarius. Okay, real quick. So um, when I was in college years ago, I think I was a sophomore. My sister introduced me to my first luxury bag. Okay, mind you, college. <laughs> okay, you already know. So my first luxury bag she introduced me to was the Gucci. And I love the Gucci. And I had this one. And then I had the um the big the the tote and I use it for my books. And I don't know where it is. I think someone took it. But I always had kept the Gucci and I love it. It's vintage. As you can see, the, um, look, I need to get this, um, clean because my sister said that I could use it as a crossbody. Let me see, Shirley. She said that I could use this thing as a crossbody. So I am, that's the plan, um, is to get it fixed sometime, sometime. Right now I'm on Dooney purchase, so I don't know. But anyway, this is the, um, my first ever, ever, ever in life bag. That I spend money for, and it's a Gucci, and it's I I, I don't know how <laughs> I used to put my things in here because this thing is tiny. It has the um Jesus look. I wore let me tell you, when I say I wore this out. Look, check this out. I have a safety pin holding this thing. That's how much I wore it out. And um oh jeez, I, I was looking at it the other day, and I noticed that it still has its um oh yeah. <laughs> I did lose the um, so y'all, I did, I did lose the Gucci little emblem thing, right? Anyway, but yo, this bag take a. I don't want to make this a long video. Okay, but anyway, look, I still have the um, the you can't see it, but I still have the number, like authentic. This is the real deal number. So I'm gonna get this fixed one day. But anyway, this was my first bag, and then I got married. Then I had the kids, and then I was like, I'm, I can't hold no bags with three kids back to back. So um, I started buying um, bags that really wasn't working for me. The so one day I decided that, hey, everyone's on a coach kick. Maybe I get a coach bag. So I bought this coach, which is vintage. You, as you can see, I love like the flat, back, the bag with the flat. So this was my my um, coach that I wanted. I need to sell. I'm just in perfect condition. I wore it, but you know what? It was too heavy for me. It can't hurt my shoulders. So I um, I never wear it. It's hanging out at my house. It has a little coachy thing. Anyway, so I was like, this bag is too heavy, and I don't like it. So then I decided that I, what I wanted to do was not really spend money on bags. What I wanted to do was just buy bags that were colorful, that spoke to me. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And nothing wrong with that until one day I'm like, ooh, that yellow bag I haven't worn in a, in a couple of years. Let me go get it to wear. That bag was peeling. <laughs> those bags. So all those bags that I bought were that were not real, that were replicas, that were fake. For me, right, when I would say, oh, my God, this bag, they were peeling. So I just stopped and decided I needed to get a bag. And that's how Dooney and Burke came in. And then one of the things I love about Dooney bags, like now that I'm a Dooney stuff, is that I love the fact that I can purchase bags that were, um, I haven't gotten too deep into the vintage, but I could purchase bags that were like 2013 or 2011 or 2012. And all I have to do is take Apple condition and rub that baby. Oh my God, brand new. But the bags that I had, I had bucket of fake bags in my um in my closet, and all them babies peeled. We're done with that. We're done. So I was like, you know what? I need a bag. So my first show, my first um, Dooney and Burke bag was that um, 
had another one. I don't know the names. I told you that already. But I was uh, I was on eBay in the summer and I wanted a yellow bag. And I think this is the chrome bag, the um the lambskin Toby tote bag. Y'all, I love this bag. Let me tell you about this bag. This bag was my number two Dunenberg bag. I'm on the train like, what? You don't see me? Yes. Yes, my tassels. Yes. I'm doing it. So um, so one day, I was rocking that, this bag. It's gorgeous. Um, it feels so yummy. Um, it's so smooth. It's just pops. Come on. I got it off eBay for a hundred bucks and the person said it was in excellent condition and it was, it was an excellent condition, nothing on the bottom and the straps were good. I had the card and everything. It was amazing. It was really good. And I was, one thing I don't care for it as much now that I have other duty bags is that the only issue I have with this bag is stuff now, but okay. You just throw, I like, I love, I am in love with the Shelby Shopper because it's structured and there's compartments and I could say, okay, I'm going to put this here, this here. I could put my phone here. I could put, you know, whatever I need for work and I'm on the road. This thing, it feels like everything's just thrown in here. Like I just throw everything in here. That's the issue I have with this bag because I don't like the fact that um, I lose stuff in here and it's a big old bag. What I do like about the bag is that... Um, when I when it is stuff, okay. So I love these about like this is the base. I love the base because when I have the bag, look, it's not the base just holds it, so everything's not like falling off and looking retarded. But what I don't like about the bag again is that when I throw my stuff in here, it's just like a big hole in where I can't find it. Never get frustrated. But I love the yellow bag. Um, I can't wait to wear it for summer. But check this out. So when I was showing off, like, oh, my bag's amazing. Like, I know Dooney and Burke because this was my second Dooney and Burke bag. I thought I was doing something. And then <laughs> I was on the train. I took a train. I was doing training, so I took the train. And then I had this bag because it's amazing and it's beautiful. It carried everything I needed. And then I got home and I turned my bag around. And I had color transfer all up in here. And I freaked out. I was like, what? They sold me a fake doony. They sold me a fake doony on eBay. <laughs> Yo, I panicked. So I hurried up and got some soap and sponge. And I cleaned it off. So there's nothing here. There's nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. But I, I was so scared that I put this away and it was like, okay, I need to buy another Dooney bag. And that's how I got hooked. But I'm going to take this baby out. And then I was reading that some of these lighter bags, you can get color transfer. And I was like, whew, it wasn't a fake. Um, so now that I know that there's some clothing, I just can't wear with it because it's going to rub against my clothes. But this bag, I cannot wait to wear it. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted to wear, just a little plug, one of the reasons that I wanted to wear this yellow bag or buy a yellow bag was because it matches my color for my sorority, Sigma Gamma Rho, so um, Roy Blue and Gold, and I wanted a yellow bag um, for that reason too. So this actually fits the bill. It's a tote. I love a tote. Um, I originally wanted to, to have this bag for when I go on trips, but then I was so, I panicked that I didn't use it, but I will be using it now that I'm smarter, um, as a Duna Easter. So that's all. I just wanted to show you my bag. If you're the type of person that needs organization, I don't think this is the bag for you because again, once you open it, it's just a big black hole. And you're like, where's my stuff? And you know, but if you're the type of person that needs organization, the Shelby Shopper for me is, it fits the bill. But I still love this bag. Um, okay, so real quick, because I want to make this under 10 minutes. I am expecting four bags. Four. Four. I'm pressed. Okay, so I was so pressed to get the um, Dooney Burke Mitchell 
bag, I was pressed, but I'm not retarded, right? So on eBay, they're like um, $200, I'm not, no, $200, $300. So I ended up going to trade to see, and I found one in nylon red, my favorite color, and it's on its way. When it comes, I'll show you to you. Pressed. What? I was pressed because I saw... Um, Duna Vin Duny Vintage, I think that's her name, with it, and I was pressed, pressed. My other bag that I got is the Savannah um, Savannah um, Satchel in black, pressed. It's an older bag, and I like older stuff. I'm like this person that, if it was old, I, I think in my mind, I need to play catch up, so uh, yeah, pressed. And then, okay, so that's that. Then I got, um, oh, yeah, I told myself that I needed a bag, like a green tote bag when I travel. <laughs> I really need this bag. I mean, I have to have it. If I don't have it, I don't know what's going to happen to me. So I ended up going on eBay, and I found it. Oh, my God, this bag is like, yo. So it was like $66 with, like, the, a little cosmetic case and the key thing. And it was $66, and it's not called a cotton, but it's, an, oh, my God, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I get. Then next to, okay, my last one, pressed. I am so pressed. I actually was watching one of the other ladies' video. I can't remember her name, but she was showing off all these eBay bags that she had and all these, and I was like, where is she? How is she doing that? How does she do that? So one of the bags she showed, I was like, oh, my God, I like that bag because it's older. And I ended up going on Poshmark, and it's the Dunienberg Small Leather Wilson. <laughs> it's gorgeous. This is in mustard. So when they come in, I'll be back to show you what I got. And then I'm planning this birthday bag bash. Me, myself, and my bag, the Dooney. I might be very pressed and take myself all the way to Williamsburg. Two and a half hour ride, pressed over some bags. I can't tell people then I'm going to do that. I'm saying, oh, I've never been to Williamsburg. Um, I want to go. I'm not going to be like, I'm going to ride three hours to get a bag. They're going to look at me like I'm really like, lady, lady, bring it back here. Um, But it's my birthday. I'm going to 47. I mean, not everyone makes that age, right? So anyway, I feel like I'm rambling. But here's my bag that I am going to rock over the summer, with knowing clearly that it's not a bag that... um this compartment's in. There's not a bag where I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to bring, I'm going to put myself so I can find it like the Shelby Shopper where I have things in organization. This is not, they ain't doing it. But I love it. I love the color. I love the feel of it. I love everything about this bag. So, just know what it is that you're getting. So then that's it. All right, ladies. Um, Enjoy your day. All right, see you soon with my bag.